What's the deal, family man? Look, it's finally here, man. We got the Six Nations, very last round, man. Um, I know y'all wanted the highlights yesterday, man, but they didn't drop them. They literally did not drop any of the extended highlights until like, like eight, nine hours ago. Middle of the night, man. But we're going to get into them right now, man. First up, we got Scotland, Italy. Then second, we got France versus Wales. And then we got Ireland versus England, okay, man? I didn't do a poll for this one, but <sighs> I got Scotland, France, and Ireland, of course. So let's watch this. Uh, let's watch this first one. See what they're talking about. Like I said, I got Scotland taking the dub over here, man. The referee from Australia, Angus Gardner, gets us underway. It is Scotland oh, yeah. wearing the altered strip, as is the convention in Test Rugby. The first carry there for Duan van der Mer, but George Turner just pops it up to Tia Schoeman. Well, Rory, what have Scotland got to get absolutely right today? Well, I think if they start well, that'll be the, the key thing. They want to get into a rhythm, try and get the scoreboard ticking along, but it's got to be more of the same. They're looking for an 80-minute performance to, to dominate territory possession, and this is the, they're now at a level whereby they want to physically dominate Italy this afternoon and put them under huge pressure. Yes, the reality is that Italy have... Oh, yeah, good run, good run, good run! Stay on their feet! Reflecting like that. We look at the table... But those two performances, particularly the ones against France on the opening weekend in Rome, and again at the same uh -oh. venue. Hot potato. Against Ireland, inside. when they frustrated a changed oh. Ireland team. No doubt about that. Blair Kinghorn getting his first kick away, even if his first catch wasn't necessarily the most convincing. Okay. Nicotera, the hooker, has it. Starting his seventh straight game for Italy. Yo, Italy staying on him the feet. Guinness Six Nations and he's rumbling forward here. Turner's on the floor. A penalty Number advantage is being played. It is against Turner. It's being superbly choreographed this by Italy. They and can stop Italy and stop here. it. Down by Italy here. A meter out. The alarm bells ringing early. Fusco has his hands on it. Yeah, advantage. Another new penalty advantage taken forward that time by Riccioni out from Fisco. There's Brex. Oh, what was that? that time the ball goes to ground, but it's still be maybe another chance. And Brex, well, he couldn't find Jay Z. And in the end, the lack of Italian precision. You got to take advantage of that. There ain't no re. I don't think there's any real reason they shouldn't have scored right there. Talking about Italy. Especially when they went on the outside, bro. They went on the outside, bro. Like, there should have been a play there. You can't have two, what was it, two bad passes in a row. When I mean, you got the open opportunity. Pfft. Settle the nerves of the, the players and the crowd. It's given Italy an easy end to this game. No mistake that time. From Tommaso Allen. That's what Turner does. Bro ran straight. Being met there by Nicotera. Richie. Here's Hugh Jones. Hugh Jones out of front. In there, Vanderbilt. Well, we know all about his strength and his power. We knew this was coming. Who knows? He could have shown here. He's something of a rugby ballerina. I've got a grounding. Hell no. Hell no. Nope. Nope. If I'm Vandermervin, if I'm Vandermervin, I'm sorry, bro. You not about to be calling me no rugby ballerina. Ain't no way. He's like a little ballerina out there. Hell no. Nah. He out there just looking like a like a ballerina. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Please don't ever call me that again. I'm, I'm messaging. I'm fine. What's a Twitter? Facebook account, Twitter account, I'm finding the, the commentator Twitter. Bro, don't ever call me a ballerina again. Hell, y'all think, would you think that as a compliment? I get what the commentator's trying to say. He's graceful, whatever, you know, wop de wop. But to call him a ballerina, you know? 
Me personally, I would not tell you. <laughs> would y'all would how would y'all feel about being called a ballerina? You do you doing your shit, you rugby, you getting points, you getting tries, you running the ball, you hitting people, you trying to play defense, and then the commentator call you a ballerina. Grounding, good player was air bombed. Yeah, I could have grown this like one field try there. On field try, check touch. Yeah, Britt, you there? Go ahead, Angus. Okay, so we've got an on field try, we've got a grounding, but we need you to check check the touch line for us, please. Okay, Angus, on field try, checking, grounding, and touch. Well, he's a bit bigger than Rudolf Nuriev, but he moved a bit like him here. Does he get his feet up? Oh, it's a brilliant finish. Boom! Wow. Touchdown! Angus on that replay, his feet literally up, have the ball grounded. You can award the try. Only one loop. Only one look needed. It's a world-class finish from one of the world's... Wait. I just thought about something. Technically, shouldn't a try be called a touchdown? Hear me out, though. Hear me out. Shouldn't a try be called a touchdown? People say football shouldn't be called football. I'm sorry. People say that NFL football shouldn't be called football. It should be called handball because you use your hands more than your feet versus in football, which we call soccer, you actually use your feet with the ball. Well, in rugby, you literally touch the ball down to score. Touchdown. Or maybe that's where NFL got the, the term touchdown from. And they took it from rugby and just rebranded it. And if so, we just entered an iceberg situation. <laughs> Real talk. We just entered a whole rugby iceberg situation with that one, if that's true. All my uh, researchers, go ahead, get on, do your research, get up in the comments, let me know. Because now we got an iceberg we got to figure out. Most predatory winners. One opportunity with space in front of him. He knew what he had to do. It was his wherewithal. It was like a long jumper, knowing... It came off the error. Hugh Jones gets on the outside shoulder, does just enough to hold the in the tight defender. Bruno, desperate from there. I think it was Garbisi charging across, knowing that Van der Merwe was going to go for the corner. He leaps off his right foot, plants it down with the right hand. It's an epic finish by Duan Van der Merwe. So, Tommaso Allen. But after the early sighter, the two that have followed have been straight through the middle. Stay there. Yes. Yes. Another penalty, and there's going to be a yellow card. It is going to be Italy's fifth yellow card of the championship. And off goes Danilo Fischetti. That time, the well done. Italy scrum was solid. Ben White. Oh, good step Good's in. Nice step in, buddy. Buddy, I like that step in, buddy. Scotland yes, sir. Front. They have their second try. Oh, hit him. And it's a reward, a final reward for rolling the dice. King Hong, the try scorer. It's a decent strike rate, right, that, but just emphasizing the threat. It's a decent strike rate, right, that. But... It's a brother. There's a brother at the game. There is a brother. Just there is a whole brother at the gate, bro. I, I, it. In every thirty-seven videos of rugby I react to, I catch a brother. That's not on the team. Every thirty-seven to like fifty-two videos, I catch a brother who's not on the team in the stands. It's a good sight to see, man. Emphasizing the threat, Kinghorn scores it, but believe me, the eyes of the defenders around the man who should have been tackling him. You just see Ben White takes it to the line. Blair Kinghorn actually has no right that was a great to score step, here. Man. And I mentioned Fusco beforehand, looking on the scrum half, holds for White. And then from there, as soon as a pass is given, he overchases. He's beaten on the inside shoulder. And after that, Michele Lamaro, the skipper, can't do anything. Ben White just looks at him. Fusco, eyes out, eyes out. And then the left-footed step, Blair Kinghorn just senses that Fusco has overchased, knows there's space on the inside. 
And it's quite a skill, isn't it? Because you've got to hold up your own body weight. You've got to get your hands straight onto the ball. Here's Kinghorn to Bellotto. Van der Merwe. Scotland anxious to take oh, the nice. advantage. Cast oh, nice. Face. Oh, nice. There's the offload. It was meant for Ollie Smith. Got too excited. Easy. Makes a significant contribution. Got too excited. Could well have been a try saving one for Italy. Fed the ball back there to. Yeah, Italy said that. Score. Scotland 12. Italy 6. Dempsey, Dempsey scrambling along the floor. Less than half a metre out, the Scots. Get your hands behind, eight, eight. This really would give them breathing space. Richie, the captain. Canoni that time. Preventing the Scotland captain getting through. But there goes yeah, good Richie defense. again. And Dempsey trying to get his hands on the ball. Hands behind. White. King Horn goes himself. King Horn. For the second time today. King Horn been everywhere today, man. Well, he's proving quite a deputy, isn't he, for Finn Russell? Oh, yeah, Finn Russell injured. I forgot. The crowd find their voice. And Blair King Horn again. Scotland kept banging the drum, kept knocking at the door. And it's a brace for Blair Kinghorn. He's like having an extra back roar, but with the acceleration, just a little bit of footwork. I ain't gonna lie, man. If I'm if I'm Finn Russell, you know what I'm saying? After I get done with this injury, bro, I'm in the lab, bro. I'm in the lab, bro. Cause Kinghorn, you ain't about to take my spot, buddy. Kinghorn looking Kinghorn? Right now, looks like he got like, if I can compare it to like a quarterback in the NFL, right? You got quarterbacks who who's passed first. They don't even run the ball. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, like they not even throwing the ball. I mean, they're not even running the ball. They're just trying to make sure they get the right play. Boom, target, pass, boom. But then you got quarterbacks that not only can they target, boom, boom, but then they can say, you know, tuck the ball and we getting on. I'm tucking the ball. We getting on. We running. So... Kinghorn to me gives me I believe he's re the replacement of Finn Russell. He's giving me those scrambling quarterback vibes where he not only knows, you know, what passing and how to place it and what the play is, what's going on, and the awareness is high, but also the ability to say, you know what, I'm putting my feet on the ground and I'm getting to moving. Kind of gives me that vibe. I could be a little bit premature with that, but that's what I'm seeing. He can go at the inside shoulder of Brex, who's also got to, got to have eyes elsewhere, and goes at the outside shoulder of Negri. Just a little dog leg goes into that dog leg. Smith does enough to interest Brex on the outside. And the acceleration of Blair Kinghorn tucks the ball under his arm, bursts through the tackle of Brex, and gets over the top of his arms, crucially to free the ball up. Drives the ball into this Murrayfield turf, and it's a five-pointer within five minutes for Scotland to kick off the second half. The finish line of that top three finish just starting to appear okay, over the hill team. for the Scots here. Yep, good. There was half an opportunity to counter, but now I think Ali Price choosing wisely to just get the get the foot on it and get Scotland further downfield or be keeping it in, in play. Oh, it's like an early spring day in Edinburgh. Here goes JC. Garbisi to Garbisi, the captain. Brex, Morisi, inside the Scotland 22 again here. The little oh, that was a nice little through, finesse. And it's a try for the Italians, hey. and it's at Van Tommaso Allen. That was nice, though. And I ain't going to lie. Right back into the match. That was nice. A warning shot fired across Scottish bows. This match is not over yet. Oh, I was going to... Bows. That's another brother. That's two brothers in one game. This match is not over yet. Unreal. Oh, it was going to take something special. The Scottish frontline defence, very good. But just the identification of a short side. Garbisi, Garbisi, and then the space Thanks, came in behind. You just see here, little 15-metre channel. It's actually a four-on-three, still difficult that to execute. Nice. Ollie Smith's had to step up. 
into the last line of defence, into the front line. Garbisi sees it, sticks it on the little left peg, short kicking game that you, Italy have been known for in this championship. The wherewithal of those two playmakers, Garbisi and Allen. Excellent execution. Left peg, two bounces, bumps up to Allen, nobody's in behind. Try time Italy, back in the game. Reward for keeping on going from the men in blue and a five-pointer to show for it. And one of rugby's more crucial conversions. And Tommy Allen, well, almost looking a little fatigued there. That was, uh, yeah. quite that a was rough. So the remain eight points down. Yeah, the way that the, the pendulums at the back work, Ollie Smith just realising he had to step up to, to give a, a tackling option defensively. The space came in behind, really excellent identification of that by Garbisi, and then from there you've got to execute. It was perfection, left peg, little grubber kick through, Tommy Allen picks it up with plenty of free grass in front of him, dots down, and Italy back in, albeit still just beyond the score. And the assistant coach Woo! there, Maurice Wilson, enjoying him down. of that. No. There's Alessandro Garbisi onto his elder brother. Tommaso Allen, Nacho Brex. That was a fantastic catch. Nothing uh, tougher, really, in terms of the skills in rugby than catching that one which is coming over your shoulder. Cummings, good hands. Ooh, got a Man, Scotland got some sloppy hands today. And the turnover to Italy. And now it's Scotland who are making careless errors. Scotland, don't drop off. Y'all know what I'm talking. If you watch my video from last week, you know what I'm talking about. Don't start dropping off all crazy. Keep it tight. Say, Martin, the key thing for Scotland is just to not compound error on error. They just con conceded five. Force, force Italy to play from inside their own half and just find some territory. They've had, Italy have had a good territorial period, a little purple patch like whereby to, they've managed to find field position and build a bit of pressure. Take a shot? I think they're going to okay. have a shot here. Shot. But as it is, the counter-attack comes. It was actually on in the outside channels, but Tua Pelotu couldn't gather. Jack Dempsey deemed to come in at the side. Un under the pressure while Manu Manuel Zuliani was over the top of the ball and the, the open side off the bench rewarded for his hustle in and around the breakdown and Here we Italy are. now yeah. the chance to narrow the gap to a single score game and kicking duties handed over to Garbisi, slightly longer kick off the tee than Tommy Allen. 43 metres. Kicking slide from the right of the post, which uh, might just favour the eye of the left-footed kicker. Having, make an, having made this call, LBC would clearly really just have to make it. And he's done just that. Lock it in. Italy, back within a try. So, here in Crowley. It's a one-possession game, a man. smile from the New Zealander. Well, I tell you, the narrative of most people around this game was, oh, Italy will stay in the fight to the final quarter, and then Scotland will stretch, it, stretch away. As it turns out, so far the final quarter, in the six minutes we've had of it, Italy are 8-0. It could well have gone into the red. The Scotland just need a, a number eight pick and go or a single carry, and then to get the ball out and for 67... Well, Scotland got the ball. And people it is big. Breathe a unanimous sigh of relief. The arm is out from Angus Gardner. That will bring the penalty. Scotland will look to get the ball into the oh, run. Although perhaps they look oh, at who the who the and do and from the murder is up. Look at Van der Murder with the play. Look at Kinghorn with the play. It is the fourth try. It is the full five for Scotland. Van der Murder with the play. Kinghorn with the play. What I'll tell you. That number 10 gonna run. I told you that. Number 10 gonna run. Italian hearts have been broken. 
Number 10 going to run. Get the last seven minutes of pressure. The Finn Russell spooked right now. Just gone through the roof. The voice has been found. And Blair Kinghorn does down a hat trick. Look, Finn Russell going to keep his position, but he a little spooked, okay? Look at Kinghorn. It has to go to the collective effort in the scrum. Because they set the platform, Angus Gardner's right arm went out and said penalty advantage. Look at it, left arm rather. Penalty advantage, Kinghorn out to Van der Merwe. Van der Merwe, jet shoes on. You run the right wheel. With all the athleticism to keep up. And from there with three Italians trailing in his wake. Okay. That's how you finish the game right there. Down. And skull and goal from under their own. Scotland, that's how you finish the game right there. You keep it a hundred. Oh, there ain't no fault. Keep it a hundred, bro. Fix. Staring down the, the King Horn. Famous loss. Look like he's supposed to play a AFL or something, man. That was it. Scotland versus Italy. That ending was fire. The game was a little slow, but the ending went crazy. Shouts out to King Horn. I see you, bro. You, you, your name just got put on the map for me, at least. For me, your name just got put on the map. King Horn, Italy. Man, I still think y'all have been playing so well. Don't be. Don't. Don't feel bad about this L, you know what I mean? Y'all been playing so well, you know, you you still gonna take some L's, bro. Like, but y'all are playing a lot better of a recent thing I've seen before. So, honestly, you guys are still looking great. So, don't even feel bad about it. Like, you, you're you gonna lose sometimes, man. Uh, that's it, though. Scotland versus Italy. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out uh, this uh, France versus Wales game or Ireland versus England. They both should be up if you're watching this one. Anyways... That's it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.